Okay, yes, it's a killer robot with an AI brain. But hear me out, it kills weeds. On a 2,000-acre organic farm in Central California, this $1.2 million machine does the work of 30 people 24 hours a day. The machine is, is thinking. It's learning. It's understanding what it's seeing. What AI is great at is telling the difference between things. In this case, the difference between chard and a weed and then killing the weeds with lasers. CEO Paul Mikesell has invented a system that fries weeds too small for a human hand to grab in bursts that last only milliseconds. The field smells like burnt popcorn. The whole trick here is the lasers disrupt the cellular cycle within the plant with heat energy. It takes a rack okay. of servers to recognize 40 crops and 80 oh, types of again. weeds. This machine has got more computing power than 24 Teslas in it. It's essentially a mobile data center. Mm. The farm's owner says the laser weeder will pay for itself in a single year and that it solves his single biggest problem, which is finding workers. We're just not getting the influx of new folks that want to come in to this deal. Now, in a job like behind us on this tractor where someone could be making you know, a really good wage, $30 an hour, he's got a laptop, that's a little easier to find that person. Labor unions say they want tech to make the work easier as long as we don't simply toss people aside after decades of brutal labor. To the extent that automation can make life better for farm workers by making those jobs less physically demanding, safer, more dignified, we welcome it. Our concern is that automation will allow employers to basically uh, discard them. <laughs> AI is spreading cool. through farming. There's the broccoli bot built by Oregon college students to harvest the vegetable. And John Deere has been plowing ahead with several kinds of AI technology. For Paul Mikesell, it's about more than just zapping weeds. The data that comes out of these images will be incredibly valuable for farmers to be able to predict what's going to happen in the future based on past action. So you're not just killing weeds, but, right. but actually harvesting data that we can yeah. use to make crops better. Yeah, that's right. If you talk to any farmer, they'll tell you it's not a, just about the data, but about the insight that you can get from the data. Mm. Mike Zell expects AI will allow robots to work in fields and factories in entirely new ways. The capabilities are too great, and the wave is only starting right now. Jake Ward, NBC News, Soledad, California.